Welcome back, fans and friends. For this upcoming video, I have one, and then I'll do the other. Uh, so this is new to me, but it's not new, clearly, because it is Series 4, and the Norman Rockwell series from Greenlight, and you can see the artistic, I want to say inspiration, I'm pretty sure it's from one of his paintings, drawings, slash artistry, and then this Greenlight car is supposed to commemorate that, so running with the theme of the Skiing, obviously on the back, is an extremely similar rack to that that was mounted on the Datsun 510 from the Black Bandit series I did a while ago. But also the Mustang appears to be similar, not the same, as the uh, Pan Americana series I did a while before. So, just to go, this is probably one that you can put on the collector's rack, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, it's based on the artistry. And uh, not that I said, but how it's done. Uh, so, the only thing is that you'll never be able to open the hood. And so we have the normal green light stuff there that contains one diecast vehicle, 164 scale, and then a 14 plus, and then limited edition. Uh, it appears to be the number printed on it, as you can see there, and not the sticker. And so we have from the rest of the uh, usually green light, what they do from us is they have the vehicles listed and then what the vehicles uh, are. And instead, what the, what they've done here is, I saw all six of them. I know one is a Dodge D100. We have a, another pickup truck done with the fire uh, equipment in the back. This one, I think, is the Willis Jeep. And then this one, I actually have here. It's that. How I, And you can see there, the painting. The GI is from World War II, I believe. No, I apologize, not World War II. Uh, I do believe, but here's the thing, it says, it's an M1 Garand, that's World War II Vintage, so, anyway, and most of their equipment actually is World War II Vintage, anyway, that's not uh, to be discussed about right now, just going to discuss it later, if I do collect it, but they don't list what the actual vehicles are, and so this is the opposite of what they normally do, anyway, 356.21, so this is two years old, as of now, 14562WB is a number, there's all the similar stuff. And there you have it, the six pin. And this is a normal Rockwell Association. Uh, I do believe they uh, have some there, NRFA. So there you have it. Their little seal right there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Like I said, we're just taking a look at the car itself. The painting, unfortunately, once I take the car out of it defeats the purpose so like I said this is probably one geared more towards collecting rather than opening but if you're thinking of collecting it you don't know what to do well I will be opening it so it comes with a standard green light issue insert you have 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe Coupe is a two-door it does look like it is a soft top but it's not it's a hard top it's just instead of the vinyl top it is a white so right off the bat you do have uh, a few issues it's hard to see, but maybe I've just wiped it off. Yeah, it's just a little bit of oil was on the roof. Uh, other than that, just that little speck there. Inlets for the hood. We have Ford written across the front of the hood. We have silver for the window wipers, silver border for the windows, blue interior, which is highly unusual and rather unique. And there's the Mustang with the horse. Inlets for the brake on the rear, door handles painted in nicely, the ski rack, everything looks to be level and simply and reasonably well done. <sighs> That's the left side, and then the wheels, so I'm hoping for now, I do see that, except with a little bit of a droop there. Uh, we know the green light wheel always have an issue. So the front ones don't, but that one there does. Uh, going to their side once again the back wheel has an issue and the front wheel clearly has an issue there So that's just normal. The wheels look nice otherwise can't complain too much uh, I did not see the gas cap on the other side, but the right side is exactly identical to the left side Just moving quickly to the front of the car uh, We don't have inserts. We just have painted over Mustang symbol in the middle the two in inboard uh, Lights are not painted whatsoever. It's just plain black license plate left undone and moving to the back, everything nice and painted evenly. You have the Mustang symbol right in the middle. And you have Mustang written clearly across the back of the vehicle. So in that respect, it's probably better than the Pan Americana series. And this is just before the back of the cars got more rounded. And once again, license plate unpainted, undecorated, sorry. 
uh, the four exhausts from the engine. Moving to the underside, 35621, exact same as what is on the back of the package, right there. And then the 14562 WB is the normal thing. And we have 1967 Ford Mustang. You will be losing the details of this being the Mustang Coupe. You're just going to have to remember it. Uh, and then the other thing too here is this is actually highly unusual is that wheel base there is painted black but this one is not at all actually sorry it is painted black so they've only painted parts of it black and other not parts of it and what's happened is the wheels are very far apart so if you want to take the risk and push them together because what's going to happen is they're going to wobble a little bit uh, and if they come loose they'll come apart anyway the base of the vehicle this is 2007 so I believe it's the same as that Pan Americana series 2007 release Obviously, it is well 15, 16 years now. And then the other thing we have here is approved by the normal Rockwell family's agency. So here we have everything normal Mustangy. There's a differential transfer case from the engine. And so finally, we get to pop the hood. Take a look at it. Oh, something broke off. I believe it's a little chip of paint, but I don't for now see where it came from. So the good news is I might have not totally damaged it. So, And the engine here is relatively unique. Usually they paint this front part of the air, uh, oil filter slash air filter silver, the same as the pan. But they have decided not to for this one, for whatever reason. Hood holds up nice and well, so there's that. Nothing else to complain about. I can't... Is that a 351? I don't know which 351 it is. It doesn't look like a 427. 427 would have been much, much later. Anyway, Ford Mustang Coupe, 1967-year model. Normal Rockwell Series 4. This is green light. Usually it's a Hollywood, but it's not. It's just the normal Rockwell. It's apparently the Series 4. They've done quite a few. Rolls very well. So I can't complain there. This is Thomas from Toronto. Thanks for watching. And until the next one.